Hi everybody. In today's video I want to talk about fonts. Today I gave Blender an A++ originally when I first got a little further today than I've ever gotten with Blender because I found how to set the font and I as I wrote here I thought it was the best font system I've ever used in any software in my life and I've had a computer since a VIC-20 when I was about 12 or 13 for my lawn mowing money and then on to a Commodore 64 and then I kind of took a break from computers in my teenage years to do absolutely nothing and then discovered them a little later I was playing pool for a living around age 25 and I looked around and the best pool players in the city of Houston or the state or country wherever I went and they were all broke when they got old I looked around and even like I mean players that if I dreamed to be as good as them on my you know my best day in their in my life I'd never beat them and these guys that don't have didn't have a quarter to their name when they got past 50 it's like I saw like I mean it's just unbelievable the number I saw and their talent collectively was like these are some you know they were they weren't the Tiger Woods level of if it was golf but they were not too many levels below that they were like they were all some of the champions I've met and they ended up just some of the saddest stories I've, I've seen as they got old and their vision went but that's not why we're here we're here to talk about fonts so let's move over to blender and I will go ahead and show you my little uh, oops, that's iClone sorry that was the end result this is what I started with in blender I kind of created a little model here and I I've probably installed blender five times but today I found this if you go to edit preferences I found this and if you, you can use that little sliders if you like or I found for me typing in 1.4 is a font that's I can read that without having to get real close to the screen so I my vision's not horrible but I stopped driving a few years ago because of vision test involves seeing which direction little small letters are going not like can you not hit cars you know which is what I cannot do I don't drive very fast so my, my one trip a day used to be two miles to the, the restaurant or the store or the dog park or something and I wasn't in a hurry but the rest of the world is always in a hurry so I stopped driving but anyway on with the show what I wanted to show you here though is before we go into Blender's fonts, I want to go over to Microsoft Visual Studio, which Microsoft gives me this for free, which I'm very grateful for. I don't have to pay $600 a year to get a job or something I can't afford. But with Microsoft, if I want to set the font size, they're like all these sour guys and they decide to build the, you know, the space shuttle version of fonts with 30 different fonts which is great if you know if you want that kind of level I've begged them at least five or six times I've created user voice issues requesting either a set all or a minimum because I don't want to have to start a new job where I'm trying to justify why I'm worth so much an hour but I gotta spend the first 15 minutes setting the font so I can you know something I can use but that's a whole nother rant so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and I'll now go show you the bug that I think is a bug in Blender. Now, I, as I mentioned, I'm I'm not blind, but I could only imagine somebody who's truly visually impaired coming across this, or even somebody with really good vision. Because my vision, as I mentioned, is horrible, but I accidentally set this to point one earlier. And I'm not gonna tell you about my first 15 minutes of, I recorded it trying to solve it. I gave up after 10 minutes and decided to stop the video and before I decided to uninstall, I gave it one last attempt with Windows Magnifier and resolved it. But I think you should never allow the resolution scale to go below even 0.6 is, I think, smaller than anybody can see. There is the exception that I had a friend in high school. You know, we were all, I guess, teenagers driving around and partying. And about my friend says, be cool. There's, there's a cop up ahead. And we're like, dude, you're tripping. And he goes, no, no, there's two cops three and we're all like dude and we're all 16 17 years old so that's probably the best vision you're ever going to have in your life and he's like and we're all driving but you know we did what he said we you know we kind of chilled out next thing you know we got up there and there were three cops but i swear we drove me and my the rest of us drove two miles before we could even see a light or anything so my friend had like fighter pilot or sniper eyes but the rest of us had you know old and just average eyes i guess but that was my eyes have gotten way worse as i've gotten older but here's what I accidentally did. I'm going to show you 0.6 because I'm not going to go to 0 0.4. That's even hard for me to recover from because I tried that. But if you go to 0 0.6, I can't read any of this. If you, you know, the first time I set it to 0.1, it was dots. 
So I can't imagine why you would even want to set this to this. That's just my one request. I wish Blender would, you know, take into consideration that I almost uninstalled the software. I was just a little bit more, uh, I guess, determined to see if I could fix it before I uninstalled and reinstalled. But somebody else with worse vision than me, than me could have easily been locked out of the software if they accidentally were trying to type like I did. I tried to type 1.4 and I typed 0 0.1. That's my one, I guess, wish list. But other than that, you get an A. You, you have the best still have the best I've ever seen for setting a font, but that bug there would make it even better. All right, well, thanks for watching, and sorry I kind of ranted. Have a great day.